We unfortunately have another young athlete who has died suddenly, this time the very young age of 18 years old. We're going to talk about Theo Gibbs here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Theo Gibbs, he is a baseball player who played for Lassen Community College in Susanville, California, originally from Regina in Canada. And Theo had been back at home for the holidays in Regina, uh, not only to spend time with his family, but also to rehabilitate an injury that he had suffered. Now, it was back in June, it was after he graduated from the Martin Baseball Program, that he committed to playing for Lassen Community College, otherwise known as LCC. However, during his brief time playing with LCC, that's when he, in fact, suffered this shoulder injury. Um, so he was back again, like at home, like I said, he was rehabbing um, and getting prepped for, to return. In fact, he was scheduled to return uh, in January uh, to start up again for the start of the next season. Uh, but that was not to be. The news coming out that Theo had died in his sleep on December 30th. Now at this time, no cause of death has been released, but I can tell you guys this, we have seen now so many athletes who have either, and this is the thing, I mean, it's either they're dropping on the field in competition when they're playing, or many of them, just like Theo Gibbs here, have unfortunately uh, died in their sleep. And so again, this pattern continues, and I will never come on here and say 100% that I know the cause of someone's death because I, there's no way I can know that. We can look at patterns and different trends that we're seeing and look, young athletes dropping like crazy. The one thing we can all agree on collectively is that this is not normal. This should not be happening at all. So prayers here going out to Theo's entire family. You know, his parents are both teachers um, they're described as wonderful people. You know, Theo, you know, baseball wasn't the only sport that he played. He also played uh, hockey for both uh, the Regina Shamrocks and another local team there. So this is something that was very invested. You know, the coach for Lassen Community College, the baseball team, had stated that even though he only knew Theo for a brief time, he really made an impact there on the team, said that his smile and his energy were just absolutely infectious and you know tributes have been pouring in for Theo not only that but the family is just very thankful uh, you know they opened up uh, a campaign to help the family out with funeral expenses and everything and the last time I saw it, and it by the time some of you are watching this now it could be even more uh, they had already raised like over forty nine thousand dollars for uh, for Gibbs family so that's incredible and you know many people too are saying that the Gibbs family they would do the same for somebody else. So uh, for anybody that would like to take a look at that um, for their campaign to help them out, I'll put a link in the description below. And again, uh, we'll be keeping their entire family in our prayers. But you know, what I want to do right now is I want to end this video on hope because that's something that I do here on all of my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. Not only do I talk about end time Bible prophecy and you know what's happening in our world news wise, but the need to get people to Jesus Christ in this time that we're living in because we are living in the last days and Christ is coming soon. If you're watching this video right now and you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. It's a prayer you could do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. Now that is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord though and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then, you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. 
and I pray you make that decision today. A lot more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Our prayers once again going out to the entire family of Theo Gibbs, uh, all of his friends, teammates, that God will be with you all and give you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.